Just outside of Tuscaloosa, a team of professional burn men is about to turn 300 acres of Alabama forest into a raging inferno. Just as people have been doing on this land for hundreds of years. Flying low over Alabama can provide a front row seat to a fiery spectacle that few will ever see up close. Hundreds of acres of forest land turned into a giant smoky inferno on purpose. North of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, the pine trees on this 300 acre tract were recently harvested. Now, a team of specialists is preparing to clear it for replanting with fire. It's what's called a controlled burn. Once the flames are lit, the challenge will be to control them. Shifting winds could cause neighboring lots to catch on fire. A tiny Bell 47 lifts off from the burn site, the same model used in the TV show MASH. This lightweight helicopter, first flown in 1945, has wooden blades that is armed with a tank of gel fuel, like napalm, called Flash 21. This pilot has been lighting controlled burns across the South for more than 20 years. To get the fire started, he opens a valve so the fuel can flow. As it drips, it's ignited and then falls in a fiery stream over the burn area. Burn pilots have to work with surgeon-like precision, lighting up the fringes of the tract without burning down the neighbor's trees or sparking a wildfire, a mistake that could cost tens of thousands of dollars. Once the fire's burning at the edges, the pilot scans the perimeter, checking for flames that might be jumping across the property line. If they do, the ground team will use bulldozers and ATVs to try to get things back under control. It takes only 15 to 20 minutes to start the burn. So far, no flames have jumped this fire line. It's time to light up the rest. Flying at just 150 feet, he begins to crisscross the burn area, dripping fire in rows. Flames like these can create dangerous conditions for burn pilots, especially when there's no door to keep out smoke. It takes experience and skill to weave in and out of the fire's hot updrafts. This looks more like a scene from the film Apocalypse Now than what many might expect to find on a fall day in Alabama. Burn men know that smoke can be even more dangerous than the fire itself, and that they can be liable for accidents or health problems caused by the fire. This burn will likely continue for another two hours before its cinders finally die.